quite often the impression that we get, or if it's actually literally stated, that they're afraid of what their employer or what their employers might think of them making statements about this, about them putting their, opi their opinions out there in public. What's your general overall personal perception of the BBC and opinion about them? Do you have anything to say? I mean, how would you describe them? Well, they're the reason why I no longer have a TV. I decided to give up my TV 2019 because I thought that the behaviour and um, not condoning the behaviour of someone like Savile for the um, horrendous crimes he had committed against these people. And I don't think they'd taken, uh, they had taken in consideration the impact, the traumatic impact it had on the victims. And I think their behaviour is absolutely appalling. I also think that someone who doesn't condone such behaviour is of the same mindset because having numerous complaints, evidence to say that someone is committing a criminal offence and decide not to do anything about it but to compensate other people for it, it shows that they're of a similar mindset and it's absolutely disgusting and appalling. So henceforth, I decided in 2019, I'm no longer paying any TV licence, so I got rid of my TV completely. Wow. All because of the BBC? That is correct, because of the BBC, yes. Why does the BBC as an organisation have so many allegations of sexual abuse and child abuse? Because those at the, at the top, I would say, may, uh, may be of a similar mindset. That's why they chose to ignore it. Because if someone, um, you know, a sexual assault is absolutely horrendous, whoever it happens to, it's quite horrendous. And to not condone it and to more or less you know, pat that person on the back to think they're doing a wonderful job simply because they're in the public eye. Mm. Remember, um, he is also a human being and it doesn't absolve him. Human beings do commit crimes and are not um, fallible. Only one person is infallible and that's God Almighty. No human being is infallible and he wasn't. And not because he was in the public eye, you know, they decided not to take any notice and think the victims were lying. I think it's absolutely disgusting and terrible and everyone, everyone should boycott BBC. They should not pay any TV license. That is my opinion anyway. Are we, the public, complicit in the, what we're calling the institutional evil that we believe is clearly present there in the BBC by continuing to pay our licence fees, by not holding them more collectively accountable? That is correct. Yeah, the public are to a certain degree because if we were holding these people accountable, they would not be able to get away with what they've got away with now. So, yeah, we are complicit and we, you know, I think it's sometimes people are afraid of speaking mm. their mind. And sometimes, I know a lot of these um, TV licenses are held by those who are elderly, those who are in, in age. Mm. However, you know, that you know, doesn't negate their behaviour at all. And I think it's absolutely appalling that they have allowed to get away with such a long time. Just think of the trauma those victims are going through. No one is thinking about that, how traumatic it has been for them. And when they told the truth, no one believed them. That's another trauma in itself by not yeah. believing that the individuals. I think it's absolutely disgusting and they should be held accountable. I think what they should do, sue them for everything. Sue them for the house, take away, take away everything from them that they have, their house, their cars, everything, and compensate the victims. Sorry, that's my uh, opinion. Anyway. Amen, I'm with you. Just one last question. Um, what would you say to the British public as a whole as to what we should do about this? Stop sitting on our hands and complaining because British like to complain a lot and let's take action. I don't mean any criminal behaviour whatsoever, but take positive action by refusing to renew the TV, refusing to pay the TV licence, full stop. The whole country should stop that at the end of the day and that will, you know, somehow send a clear message to them. We need to act more instead of talking. We do a lot of lip service but not action, which is very poor and it's yeah. appalling that they're getting away with it. Right. Well, we're actually building a global groundswell to bring people together to actually work together as one voice to hold institutional evil like this in the BBC accountable. We're actually giving it um, a tag name in terms of the BBC Savile Syndrome. Um, so we'd love to get people to get behind that and to share and to bring their voices together to do that. Thank you so much for your time today and My you know, speaking to us. We're just starting the ball rolling really here in terms of citizen journalism 
and actually inspiring a groundswell of people to be doing what we're doing here. You know, I think, imagine if there's a whole army of citizen journalists out there questioning people in the street, talking to them about how they feel about paying for the license fee, how little the BBC have compensated the victims of Jimmy Savile, how much they're silent, how much they hide from the very difficult questions, how little accountability they actually step up to take, and how much they are essentially waiting for people to get bored, to give up, to stop asking those questions before moving on. And I think that's one of the main messages that needs to come out through what we're doing here, through Groundswell, through the public in general, is that no, we've had enough. We are going to keep asking you these questions. We are not going to give up. And this groundswell is only going to grow, is only going to build. And more and more, the pressure for you to answer these questions, especially people like Catherine and I, how deep and how far the Savile Syndrome goes, the BBC Savile Syndrome. Our investigations continue. I'm sure we'll be back here in Birmingham another time. And until then, we'll keep you posted.